Hey, how you doing, man? Today we're just going to be creative and have some fun. We're not going to mess with any code. I'm going to show you how to use fireworks to create this fun scattered Polaroid photo effect on any background image that you want. And yes, this is me here, and I made this scattered Polaroid photo thing thing out of this picture of me. Yes, I'm very pale. I'll have you guys know that if I go out in the sun, I'll die. I don't really appreciate any comments about how pale my skin is. And I also drink blood, so those are things to take into consideration. But anyways, you got this really cool effect that you can make, and I'll show you. And I also did my wife. So let's rock and roll, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, you open up any image that you want using fireworks. And once the image is loaded in, then you just go create a rectangle, draw it out. And I like to have my width even and my height even. You see mine is 284 by 284 so that's good it doesn't have to be any exact certain size and if you go to I think it's view view tooltips you'll see your width and height as you're dragging out items like I did actually you'll have tooltips for all of these tools if you go to view and show tooltips because a lot of people they don't show tooltips and then when they drag out a rectangle this is what they see you see that width and height is not there now let me go to view tool tips now look at the width and height you can see it when you're dragging it out that's why the tool tips are handy so turn them on okay now inside of this little uh, rectangle that you have we're gonna draw another rectangle to be the you know the inner photo part and you wanna make sure that's an even width too you don't wanna have odd numbers in the width because you wanna make sure that it sets in there right now let me bring up my properties bar here and I'm going to change that rectangle I made to black that way I can see it real good and I'll make sure it's even in there and it really doesn't have to be a perfect thing so you highlight both together if you zoom out you'll see everything to zoom out is hold control down and mouse wheel to zoom in and out but you can click off to the side here you can just select the items you want so I'm going to select both of those rectangles by holding shift as I select items and I'll select multiple items so I'm going to zoom back in now by holding control down and zooming it so I'm going to go to modify with those both selected combine paths and I'm going to punch so you can see what that did it punched out a nice little window so now I can put this little Polaroid anywhere I want and I can also skew it so you can go to the scale tool you can use the scale or the skew tool. Just put it on scale and you'll be able to skew and scale if you want. But usually when you have the scale tool selected, you'll have the little skew icon there so you can turn this thing like that. So that's how we'll start out. I'll start right here. So I have that object there on top of my image. Now what I'm going to do is zoom out a little so you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to select over here in the gray part so I deselect everything. Now what you see down here is everything in your document. You can see the photo, and you can also see the little graphic that you put on top right here. And when you select path, you see that you have path selected down there. So what I'm going to do is just select the photo. You see? Just the photo selected, the bitmap. All right, so I'm going to zoom in to 100%. And if I click off to the side here in the gray area on the canvas, I'll have nothing selected. But now I'm going to select the image. And it's just the bitmap that I have selected here now, you see? I don't have this little graphic that I made selected at all. Just the bitmap is selected right now. I'm going to go to the lasso tool. And if you have lasso selected like that, just hold it down and select polygon lasso. Then you make your first point right here in the corner somewhere. And you're just going to make a square like this. Click down. You don't have to hold. You can just click down and let go. And then you click down here and let go. Click here, let go. Click here, let go and then wait till you see a little block appear you see that little black block that appears when they meet that's what you want to have showing then you click down the last time to meet up all four edges pink and then you'll have a cutout right there so what you're gonna do is press control C to copy that region of the bitmap picture whatever picture you're using back there you press control C while that dashed line is moving around that copies it to your clipboard. Then you're going to press Control D to deselect that. Then you press 
the pointer tool up here and then you press control V Now you see what that did it put that little image I cut out right inside of there perfectly so now we'll grab this thing press control C control V and make another one now I'm gonna skew that a little bit maybe like that I'll go up here and get part of her eye and I'll do the same thing I'll deselect by selecting the canvas over here or you can just press control D to deselect anything and I'm going to select the bitmap image which is the picture in the back and I'm going to polygon lasso one more time pink 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 and meet them up pink control C control D pointer control V there you go don't move it though I'm just moving it to show you I'm gonna press control Z to put that back because I didn't want to move it okay so at this point all you have to do is remove the picture I mean you put as many of these as you want in any configuration that you like so I'll put a couple more okay it is enough now at any point in this process if you want to see any layers you can just click your layers button over here or you go to window layers and it'll pop open for you and you can also lock layers alright so at this point I'm going to take the image and just move it I'm gonna press control X and then I can import any image as the background for that so let's go to file import any picture I want like this field of flowers pop that on stage I'm gonna press control shift V to make it go to the back or you can go to your layers and you can mess with the layers just like you would in Photoshop or Illustrator or anything you can also lock things so if you select that and you go to layers you'll see what's selected there and you can just lock it that way you can't click it or anything you can't move it nothing so let me unlock it now okay let's zoom into 100 percent and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each set so I'll select this graphic that I made and this photo I'm going to press control G to make it a group this one the same and that control G this one and that one and I'm holding shift to select multiple items as I go control G select hold shift select control G alright so now I have all four in groups there's one two three four now I have all four selected right now because I I held down shift while I was selecting those and I'm gonna go to filters shadow and glow inner glow and I'm gonna adjust this to where it's not so dramatic I'm gonna bring that down bring this down maybe to about 37 percent put that at about five that looks fine and now I'm gonna drop shadow on all four of those so I'll select this one this one this one and that one hit the plus sign of my filters down here go to shadow and glow and I'm gonna drop shadow on them I'm gonna bring that up to a hundred percent bring this down to about three and that's good for me Let's get this properties bar down by double clicking here and I can see what I have better now you can take that upload it to Facebook or whatever you want have a lot of fun